Right then, hi guys and welcome to another sales update. I'll just push my chair off a bit. Yes, it is night time. Yes, I am in my PJs, but I've got to get this done. So, um, I mean, I've promised you a sales update for so, so long. And I just, every day, it just kept shoved to the back of the list. Um, you know, I try and get it done, but I just don't seem to do it. So I thought, I've got to get this done today. I've got to just do it now. Even though I normally wouldn't do it at eight nine o'clock, I thought you know I'm just gonna just gonna do it. So yeah, let's get on with it. I'm just gonna share with you a few sales that I've had over the last well sort of like November time really. Um, I'm way 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 behind on sales obviously, so I'm just gonna start afresh from uh, November and just sort of show you uh, and share with you a few of those. So first off, uh, Sega Master System Control Stick. Um, I'm showing this one because I hope he's alright with me sharing it, but um, Peter Ray actually bought this off me, so uh, thank you very much for the sale, Peter. I did actually accept an offer of £10 free postage on this, because obviously it was Peter who was buying it, so I was more than happy to accept that offer. And uh, yeah, so I don't know why it says £12.34 there, but I'm pretty sure I accepted uh, £10 free postage. But yeah, nice sale with that, and I believe Peter was uh, pleased with it, so... That's, you know, that's all well and good. Um, so that was that one. Um, Tech Deck Mega Ramp, uh, mini skateboard, toy thing, you know, all that sort of palaver. Um, yeah, 30 quid plus postage. Uh, this went on the same night as another Tech Deck bundle, which I believe is next in the lineup to show you. Um, yeah, I paid 14 99 for a big bundle of stuff. It's all gone now. I think I did about... 80 90 quid in sales off that uh, 15 quid so quite happy with that didn't really take that long to go this stuff my only wish is that i have a little bit bigger of a photo area uh, and that might be something to um, sort of be a little bit of a new year's resolution or something like that uh, just something to rectify in the future because i seem to be getting a lot of bigger items these days and they don't fit on my photo area quite well enough and I really want them to so maybe I need a little bit uh, just extend that photo area a little bit but yeah 29.95 on that plus the shipping really happy with that sale and again this is the other tech deck bundle again went really really quick priced it 30 quid plus my postage a little bit more postage on this one because it's a bigger bundle um but yeah really really happy with that one as you can see there it definitely doesn't really fit on my photo area. I, I just don't like that photo. I don't like when I need to actually extend the photo out outside my photo area. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not too pleased with that. As you can see, it doesn't quite all fit on very well as well. Uh, so certainly that's why I'm feeling like I need a slightly bigger photo area. But I'm sure other people come across these problems. You know, you can't just like extend your photo area indefinitely. So there's got to be some sort of cut off point. Um, right, something in my kind of real, real comfort zone here, uh, H1 to a Blackpool uh, straw Panama hat. Now, I actually haven't got a Panama hat. It's one of the only hats I actually don't own um, in terms of a style of hat. Um, so I was very tempted to keep this one, but it didn't quite fit me. A little bit small for me, actually. So I sold it £9.45 plus £2.99 shipping. Had it on at £9.95, but I believe I took 5% off a lot of my items, like 5% of the, um, say, like, of what they were listed for, I took 5% off them, so, um, yeah, that was one of the ones that I ended up taking 5% off, and obviously it did sell, so I was quite happy with that, so that's that one, you know, nothing more to be said there, just a nice little sale, uh, this was something I thought would never go, I just kind of listed it, just like, oh yeah, I'll list it, I'll see, you know, I'll put it on fairly high, and see what, uh, see whether it goes or not, so 28.49, it was originally up for 30, this was something I took 5% off, I did take 5% off quite a lot of items, um, because, I kind of just didn't want to do like a two week sale, I wanted it to be more of a permanent thing, um, so yeah, this was one of those items, I, it cost me nothing, like, I mean, this was in the job lot of all the vintage license plates, and 
it cost me £15 plus, plus commission. I cleared like 80, 90 quid on the license plates alone. So whatever I got from this after posting in fees was profit. So £28.49 plus postage. Yeah, really, really happy with that. Can't say anything more, but yeah, just really pleased with that. Um, I accepted an offer of 14 quid plus postage. So £20 all in on this uh, Piper jacket. Really cool thing, but it just wasn't shifting at 20 quid. But I was happy to just get it out the door at 20 pound, including postage, because um, I have cleared profit on this military clothing now. So I was kind of thinking, well, I don't really want to accept 14 pound. But then what was running through my mind is, well, it's all going to be profit anyway after postage and fees. So I may as well just accept it and get it out the door and make way for something else. Um, so that's kind of my mentality. As soon as, as soon as I've broken even or made profit on a deal, it's the rest of the stuff I'm just going to get out the door. Um, because there's just no point hanging on to it. You, you know, if there's a little bit of profit there, you may as well accept the offer, take the sale, move on, you know, and get on with uh, reinvesting really. So, yeah, that was quite a nice sale there. Um, as I say, Twitter. £20 all in. Uh, really, really cool this was. My grandma picked this up for me actually and she said um, I paid 4 99 for this and 3 99 for a different uh, copper item. Uh, yeah, it is copper, isn't it? Well, copper and brass. Uh, a different copper and brass item. Um, they were kind of like uh, arts and crafty kind of style or at least the, I think it was a milk jug, the other one that, that I sold uh, that she got me was and uh, they're kind of arts and craftsy um, but really really nice pieces and I sold this one for 18 99 plus postage Now it did take a little while to go but I was really happy with that sale, not an amazing profit but um, I, would ju I just really fell in love with these items and my grandma did uh, pick up something really really good um, she's quite good at like with the vintage stuff picking up uh, good vintage stuff for me she's not as clued up on the more modern stuff so I try and kind of um, tell her to avoid that stuff and just you know if you see any vintage stuff you think might be worth selling uh, you know feel free to pick that up for me because I don't want to like buy in a video game thinking it's really really good spending four or five quid on it and then it's nothing you know it turns out to be nothing so uh, yeah, she, her field is definitely vintage stuff. She is quite good at identifying stuff like that. So yeah, really, really nice sale there. Um, it actually had a really cool handle on it, um, as you can see there as well. But re really, really lovely, uh, lovely kettle that was. And it had a nice little bit of patina on it. Not too much, but it had just all the right bits of wear on it. It was re really, really lovely. Um, so this was Nintendo Super Mario Bros. Talking Alarm Clock. I actually accepted an offer on this one. I don't know why, but eBay's not showing the uh, correct prices on a few of these items, but of the ones I accepted offers on. Um, but I accepted an offer with 25 plus postage. I was happy to see it gone. It had been hanging around at this price for quite a while, at the 33 quid or the 35 quid or whatever it was. Um, so I decided to accept the offer. I got this from like uh, a guy who quit re reselling quite a while back. Um, I know him quite well and I've been around his house quite a few times and sort of cleared a bit of stuff from him, uh, some of his less leftover stock basically from when he was reselling. Uh, I really haven't a clue what I paid for it but I imagine I'm in profit on that deal now anyway so yeah quite happy with that just to get it out the door really. Uh, something I absolutely love and I can't believe it didn't go sooner and I can't believe it didn't go for a little bit more but this is, uh, it did sit around for quite a while, it was a Joseph Sankey and Sons large arts and craft copper tray, platter, whatever you want to call it really really nice item, uh, it had the mark there, that little sort of guy with a, a pitchfork type thing and then this little drape of cloth um, on his sort of torso there, really really nice item actually Obviously it does have some patina somewhere, but I feel in my personal opinion that highlights the piece more. Maybe for someone else it doesn't, but for me it does. Um, so yeah, $24.99 plus shipping, but I really did think I would get more for that and uh, it just didn't go. I think I did reduce the price a couple of times, but it just it just wasn't going to go. Um, I think I originally maybe had it on at 35 30 quid, something like that. 
Um, but yeah, it just didn't go, and it was a shame, it was a shame, but still, I got a fair price for it. Uh, Friends, Series 1 to 10, uh, box set complete, the black box one, uh, yeah, 30 quid plus postage, bought this for a tenner in a charity shop, it was a fairly quick flip, probably went within a week or so, something like that of listing, so it wasn't too bad, you know, not an amazing profit again, but... You know, certainly there's some profit in there, and because of the time frame I managed to flip it in, I was quite happy. So, yeah, um, I can't complain with that one, really. And then, finally, more recent sale. This was also from um, the basically a haul that I picked up from this ex reseller. Um, I will I will have paid in the bundle about t uh, not ten, about fifteen to twenty pounds for this in the bundle. So, yeah, I mean, it did owe me a little bit of money, but yeah, I got I didn't get seventy nine ninety nine again. It's coming up there seventy nine ninety nine. Exception offer for seventy quid plus postage, but from fifteen to twenty quid, that's I'm more than happy with that profit margin. Um, and yeah, it did. I was surprised they even got seventy for it really because. It did have, you know, can you see that level of wear? There is, there is some wear to it going up the, up the model. You can see there are little dings and marks to it. Um, but are, you know, they are pleasant. So I was, I was surprised I got that much for it, but I was really, really happy. Um, pretty, yeah, pretty cool item, that's all I'm going to say on that one, so, from 15, 20 quid, yeah, nice little flip, and it went fairly quickly as well, so, yeah, quite happy with that, that, those are my sales, I'm really happy that I could update you guys, because it's been so long that I've actually done a sales update, so, I will leave it there, guys, and, uh, hope you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like if you did like it, and obviously subscribe if you haven't already for a lot more content to come, I am trying to get into doing a little bit more content again. I know I did have a, a quiet period or a bit of a break, but I am trying to get into doing a little bit more again. Um, but we'll, we'll see how much time I can spare for, for YouTube in the future. But hopefully I'll be able to do a little bit more content than I have been doing recently. So, yeah, um, I will see you in the next one, guys. So see you very soon.